I see. All right, well, that was uh, getting to know the camera a little bit more. The SD card sl slot is a little finicky, like Savage G said. So, we weren't recording then. We're recording now. And we're in kind of the uh, dining room slash art studio right now because we're trying to decorate in here. Uh, a lot of your paintings, honey. <laughs> yeah. They're all really, really good. They kind of shine in here because the gold in this one. Here's what our daughter Natalia did. It's like that one right there. Mad drawing skills. It's more leases. Gold in that one too. But uh, the uh, paper that you saw in the last episode was this one here and this is from Turkey Compass. I got this from Turkey Compass. Steve Dario. That guy's awesome. Um, he happened to have this from Elgin Daily News. Um, April 7th, 1915. Now, I was born in Elgin. So, I gotta, I gotta grab that, right? And then, it, so from that date, the assassination of Lincoln was 50 years ago uh, from the Elgin Daily News. That is pretty cool. And then uh, Steve, the owner of Turkey Compass Antiques, happens to be in our life for some reason. Uh, but we get cool stuff from him, like this. Uh, this it seems weird, but this is the, the coolest uh, salt and pepper shaker that we've seen in a while. We got this from him years ago, but this is when he had hundreds and hundreds of these sets, all different themes, salt and pepper shakers, going back from like the 40s or 50s. And so we took that antique paper like this was, I wouldn't do this to this one because that's, I think I'm gonna do something more special with that. Mm -hmm. But with doing stuff with just vintage newspaper as an art form, I'll show you one I did. I make the best bathroom art. My art usually ends up in people's bathrooms and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but as a, an example of application for something like with that vintage paper, these are little sheets of wood and then uh, <laughs> cassette tape covers. And Nixon calls Huddle with Peace Team. That's pretty cool. But just those little things that you can do with the and that was a 1969 newspaper. So just some ideas, but we love doing that stuff with the antiques. That's We go to Steve's uh, shop and pick up things along the way as our help is paid for in the antiques. But that could be a cool project right there. That's an art piece waiting to happen. Light it up and there you go. And that's the story behind Turkey Compass Antiques and our channel. He's got such cool stuff and we'll show you more along the way. Here's the AMG books that we've had in other videos. But we're just organizing this space and putting the art up on the more leases. Because we haven't been here very long. No. <laughs> so we're decorating. Out there in the distance you can see the uh, helicopters, like search and rescue, or it's a news crew for that uh, missing boy in Crystal Lake. Pretty sad. Just wish the best for the family and the healing. There's Hunter. Hunter Aw. You might know him from such films as uh, 2019 Mazda 3. And we are sitting in a 2018 Mazda 6. 
Alcantara dash and the signature. Nice brown interior. I remember back in the day, like, when you couldn't put brown and black together, and more manufacturers do it now more than ever. Nice wood grain trim. So this got turbo, of course. This just got pulled off of the showroom so we could clean the floor in there and the windows. See your active driving display. Let's take a look at some of the things that Mazda is doing with a lot of their vehicles. You see that pedal, it's attached to the floor, so one for safety. Uh, nothing like a carpet or anything will go under that, which is nice. Better safety that way. But then it's attached to the floorboard, and they've done that a lot in racing for safety and then efficiency with some of the mechanisms behind there. You see this frameless auto dimming mirror, kind of a nice upscale touch. The uh, darker headliner in black. Just the small things that they integrate into their interiors for not only safety, but uh, an upscale look. Many more cars are actually coming also with auto hold. And how that works is if you have it engaged, you'll need your seatbelt on for it to work. And of course, the driver's door closed for safety. You can press this. And it works in conjunction with the parking brake. So as you can see, I can engage it, disengage it, having my foot on the brake. But I've selected to have auto hold functionality. So what that'll do is if you're at a stop, deep traffic, waiting for the train or something like that, sometimes you would put it in park. Instead, you can push auto hold and it'll hold the vehicle in place with you in drive. And the brake lights illuminated in back and not move until you hit the gas. So. I'm in drive, I can take my foot off the brake, and it will not move until I hit the gas. Rolling, come to a stop, auto hold on, brake, and not moving. And that's all while having auto hold on. Now I did try to have it work in reverse, just to see if it works, but it doesn't. So auto hold on, foot off brake, coming off of the brake, and I'm rolling. So I've never tried that before, wanted to try it, but that's how auto hold works. Another nice convenience from Mazda. Hey Mercedes, this is James at Mazda of Crystal Lake. I saw your birthday's coming up, so I want to make sure to uh, get a birthday call out to you. Happy birthday, I hope you have a, a lovely day. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm at 815-455-4330, but hope you enjoy your day, have a great summer, and call me if you need anything. I look forward to helping any way I can. Thanks a lot for your business. Talk to you soon. Guys, bye, bye reminder we'll be doing a fresh trades today uh, either today or tomorrow hopefully it'll be up later today or tomorrow but 2009 Honda Fit 137,000 miles and a tire pressure monitoring system light on so far full tank of gas though and these are great cars used in racing with the tuner class however an automatic you might need to switch that out hey wait there's paddle shifters we're good.